previous video in the series, you learned how to use the Circuit Schematic Editor in the ANSYS Electronics Desktop to construct a simple channel circuit. Now in this video, you'll set up the simple transmission line circuit for signal integrity analyses. Zoom in on the circuit to see it clearly. Double-click the channel to set the properties of the differential pair. Specify the values directly or use project variables to enable you to change the values easily. For example, enter a suitable variable name in the value box of W to parameterize the width. Press Enter. The Add Variable dialog appears. Define the initial value of the variable. Similarly, enter a variable for the length of conductors and specify its initial value. For parameters that you do not wish to vary, use numerical values. Next, on the eye source, define the parameters of the data for transient, quick eye, and verify analyses. Transient analysis uses the eye source data to generate time domain waveforms. Quick eye and verify use the transient solver to calculate the step response, which characterizes the channel's behavior. Quick eye convolves the step response with the rising and falling edges of its set of test bits to generate the eye diagram. Verify applies the step response to the possible transitions and calculates the bit error rate of the channel. Double click the eye source. The eye source properties control the waveform. Set the bit pattern or add distortion and equalization. The unit interval governs the construction of the eye diagram. It's 1 nanosecond by default. T rise and T fall specify the time for the signal voltage to go from low to high or from high to low respectively. The parameter step response num ui controls the calculation of the step response for quick eye and verify. The eye source can generate bit patterns for both quick eye and transient analyses. Repeat count will repeat the bit pattern. A feed forward equalizer, or FFE, corrects for intersymbol interference using a weighted sum of neighboring bits to generate the result for each bit in turn. Select the Bit Pattern button to set the bit pattern data. Select the Enter PRBS Data option to specify a pseudo-random bit pattern. The PRBS Length parameter specifies the total number of bits to be generated. The circuit solver randomly selects from bit patterns of the defined length to generate the requested bits. The PRBS Seed parameter controls the starting value for the bit sequence. Alternatively, you can specify a bit pattern directly, from a file, or from a random bit sequence. Click OK to close the bit pattern data dialog box. On the properties window, observe that the bit pattern field is now updated with the values that you specified for the pseudo-random bit data. Select the eye probe and rename it to Output I. If you set the DFE data and the CTLE data parameters, they enable decision feedback and continuous time linear equalization at the receiver end. For this demonstration, leave them as is. The channel design is now ready for quick eye and verify setups. This concludes part two of this video series. In part three, you will define quick eye and verify analyses.